Carl. I am joined now by Evan Spiegel, CEO of Snap. Thanks for being with us this morning on those better than expected results. Hey, Julia. Happy Friday. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. Happy Friday to you as well. I want to start off with the revenue growth, which exceeded expectations. You also guided to better than expected revenue growth in the first quarter. My question is, what has changed since last quarter when you warned that there was going to be a meaningful impact from those Apple operating system changes limiting your ability to target ads? What's changed in the past quarter? Well, we definitely made some solid progress. Our DR business bounced back faster than uh, we expected. We're still not where we'd like to be, but uh, our advertisers were able to adopt a lot of our first party tools like advanced conversions and estimated conversions, which they can use in conjunction with Apple's tools and with other third party tools for conversion lift uh, and media mix modeling. And all of those tools together, I think now give advertisers a good picture of the results that we're able to drive. and. They're willing to continue to invest uh, in our products to drive uh, their businesses and, and continue to grow. So we're really excited uh, to see that progress. Not out of the woods yet. We've got more work to do, but uh, certainly a meaningful step forward. Yeah, you know, Evan, we're seeing your stock rebound is up about 45 percent today after dropping so dramatically on Meta's results, which raised broad concerns about the industry. What should investors know about how your business, particularly when it comes to navigating those Apple changes, is different from Meta's? Well, I think just overall, we're much earlier uh, in our monetization journey. So if you look at the average revenue per user that we're generating relative to Facebook or even to a, a Twitter, it's a fraction. So we're much earlier. And of course, we've got this really large and engaged audience that, that's difficult to reach. And and we're making progress over time. But I just don't think we have uh, some of the similar you know, pricing dynamics, for example, that they have. And so we've had a little more flexibility to be able to navigate the changes. We also built our advertising stack from the beginning to be privacy protective. And so this may have been a little bit less of a you know, shocking transition maybe uh, than it was for them. Interesting. Now, you mentioned your user growth. You did grow users faster than expected as well, while we just saw Facebook lose daily active users. What's behind your user growth? Well, I think our products are just really resonating with our community, and we've been able to really diversify our product over the years. So in the beginning, people started using Snapchat to communicate with their close friends and family using our camera and we built an augmented reality platform on top of that so people can express themselves with all these great lenses. And we built a map so people can see what their friends are up to, <clears throat> excuse me, and see what's happening around the world. Um, and, and of course, uh, with stories and, and now with Spotlight, we've got so many different ways to engage with our platform. And, and we think that's really helping to drive our growth.